Hello, everybody. It's the Music Box. Yes, I'm looking rough, but it's still Music Box Monday, you guys. Uh, this is be the first and last time I will be coming to you guys with this type of quality of camera, okay? Um, so I'm having my phone. My phone basically is broke, so just have to deal with it. And not only that, I'm coming to you live. Uh, well, not live, but. I'm coming to you with this piano that needs to be tuned really bad. It's an old school piano. It's Everett. I, can, I don't know what version it is, but it's Everett. But uh, anyway, uh, so here we go. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing just a prayer away, just something real simple this week uh, till next week. Okay. So you guys be blessed. All right. <laughs> about you. 
y'all, this thing is so old, man. Like, I'm going to tell you, this thing is so old, right, that the the lid that closes over the um piano, I, I can lift it up, but I can't push it in. You know what I'm saying? Where it can just push in. It won't even do that now. I don't know if it got something to do with my kids playing on it or just the fact that it's an old piano. I think it's just both. And I'm gonna roll with both of those because, like, yeah, that's what that's what happened though. Why why I messed up? It hit my it hit my hand, but it hit my hand too hard. It was just like, oh my god, you know, kind of scared me a little bit. But yes, so that's it, y'all. I mean, I'm sorry. Like I say again, sorry about the quality. I I don't I don't agree with this quality. Okay, I'm close the thing now. Okay, oh, oh, I, I can't even close it. Look. I can't close it. Oh Lord. Okay. You're like, leave it alone. Okay. So yes. Again, sorry about this quality, but like I said, this is the last time and the first time you will ever see me in this type of quality. You feel me one time. Okay. Okay. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Thank y'all for sticking with me once again. Still recovering over this sickness, y'all. It had to have been the F L U flu. It had to have been the flu. It was so so hard to sing it was so hard to like i just wanted to lay in the bed the whole time like and sometimes i wanted to if i wanted to talk sometimes i end up coughing in the middle of my sentence or something you know what i'm saying like uh uh-uh. i ain't got time i ain't got time okay but anyway i'm still recovering y'all y'all you know those who like to pray and you know and pray to god just keep praying for me and i will see you guys in the next video on next week okay bye y'all oh wait before I go y'all just really quick a testimony just real quick um I don't know where to begin but uh this is just you know off the off the skirt off, off my brain off the dome uh for a while now well for a while then it was been a while it's been since since maybe the summertime ish kind of time I've been battling depression and anxiety but I think I've been I, I've really been battling anxiety for a while like a long time and I just never knew how to I just never knew what it was I never identified it or anything or you know but I've been dealing with but really you know, I've really been dealing with that depression since this this beginning of the summer, like like June, May, like like late May, early June, something like around that time. I just remember myself just being so unhappy and so unhappy with life and wanting to get out of here, y'all. Like wanting to check out. I wanted to check out of here, y'all, and. You know, I thank God for the sisters at, at my church, you know, they came forward about their depressions and the depression feelings and the anxieties and stuff like that. Saying that, you know, some of them was wanting to, you know, end, end it all. And I thank God that they came forward with that. And, we, you know, uh, we all, we all got down there and uh, got prayer. And I'm just so glad that the church does address this as an issue. I'm just so glad that my, my church, even in particular, you know what I'm saying, you know decides to deal with this but you know for me it was for me it was a spiritual thing um and you know of course with depression a lot a lot of other things come with that you know like uh fears and of course the anxiety and just want to be isolated and not 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 wanting to nobody to deal with you and not you want to deal with nobody like it it was a mess a whirlwind of trouble you know, but I noticed that if I if, if 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 I hadn't came to God, if I didn't go to Jesus about this, that I would still be suffering right now. But I still say today that I am free. I say today right now that I am free. Now, sometimes some people get healed instantly and some people it takes a while. They were they be healed as they go. Now, with me, it's going to be as I go, because I'm going to have to switch up everything how I approach everything and you know you know because some people you can deal with people out of a depressed state of mind you can just deal with your children I mean you know everything depression can take over your life I'm trying to tell you you know 
you, you, and it'll have you where you can't trust anybody. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, but like I said, I thank God for deliverance. That 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 heaviness that I was feeling for a long time is gone. It's lifted, and I I I feel a a a, a better outlook. I have a greater outlook on life. Um, and it's gonna like I said, it's gonna take a lot of prayer and a lot of like just rearranging and changing your mind. You know, the Bible talks about how you should not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so grateful for the pastor at my church, you know, just calling us up, those who were dealing with those issues and not saying nothing. It wasn't, and we were just suppressing it. I'm just, you know, I'm just rambling on y'all, but you know what I mean. I hope you get the gist of what I mean. But, you know, I, I, I just, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for, you know what, I'm grateful for that journey because it was something to learn in that journey. It was something that I needed to grasp for the rest of my life or to help somebody in their journey. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's always, whatever you go through, it's never not on purpose. It's always a reason. It's always something you have to learn when you're going through. You have to... Look at the signs. You have to follow the signs and look at the signs. Like, okay, you could be like, God, why am I going through this? Is there something that I ha haven't learned yet? Is there something I need to learn for my next journey in life? You know, you have to really be watchful. You know, this and this, okay? You know what I'm saying? Like, you really have to be watchful. But, yeah. All right. So, I just want to give that little mini testimony. Well, it's a major testimony. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. You know. God gets all the glory. God gets all the glory, you know, and I'm not trying to offend anyone, but, you know, this is who I serve. This is who I believe in. And that's it, y'all. Like I said, till next week, I holler at y'all. Bye, guys. Love y'all. <laughs>